Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. And if you guys have already been subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Today's video, we're going to do a full face of indie brands. And these are some of my favorite indie brands that I do own in my collection. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look and what are my favorite indie brands, then please keep on watching. It's not even funny how many gray hairs I have. I mean, when you were 30, you were okay. As soon as you hit 31, I don't even know how many gray hairs do I have now. Okay, let's begin. For the foundation, I do definitely want to mention two of the foundations from Indie Brands. One is Liss Beauty, LYS Beauty. I have a video on like the entire review of the products in their line. Do check it out if you haven't already. I'll link it in the eye cards above. And the second one is the Milk Makeup Foundation Stick. I think I'm going to do the Milk Makeup Foundation Stick today just because I'm doing another product from LYS Beauty. And I'm just blending it out with my Real Techniques brush and it gives a decent coverage too. I mean, there are some really good gems like in the indie brand industry and I definitely have not tested a lot of them, but I definitely do have a full face of indie brands lying around here. So I definitely wanted to do that video for you guys. But a few of the indie brands that I really want to test out is uh, Thrive Cosmetics for their mascara. I mean, I have heard some beautiful things about their mascara. Definitely want to check them out. I do want to check out Laurel Los Angeles. I was that close on purchasing their uh, second eyeshadow palette that she just released, but it just sold out so quickly. Now for the concealer, I want to use Uoma Beauty. Definitely want to give them a shout out. This is the only product that I own from Uoma Beauty and I really like it. I definitely do have like dark undertones here in the corner of the eye. Uh, so that's where I really want to conceal and whatever is left I'm just going to buff it off underneath my eye. So there's not a lot of product. And I'm using my Sigma brush. And this is the concealer brush from Practique from Sigma. I have a, quite a collection of Practique blushes. Brushes. Can I say brushes without saying blushes in at least one of my videos? I doubt. <laughs> now once the concealer is all blended, Let's go to the under eye setting powder. And if you guys don't know, this is one of my new favorites. Definitely. I mean, without a doubt. And that's from one size. And this is the translucent setting powder. I absolutely, I'm in love with this powder. I think Patrick Star did like a beautiful job with this powder. I'm so intrigued by that brand now. I'm just going to go under the eyes with this powder just because I don't want to run out of this small little tiny little package that I have. And I think it does the job beautifully underneath the eyes. That's the place where I really want some blurriness just because of the texture and the pores. Let's move on to the face powder. And another indie brand that I have to give a shout out to is Kosas. Now, this powder, you guys need it. This is the Cloud Set Powder in the shade Comfy. And it's such a beautiful powder. It's so lightweight. It's such a beautifully milled powder that you won't even feel that you are applying a lot. And you will definitely not go overboard with this powder at all. That's the beauty of this powder. And it definitely blurs out and gives a nice veil. Uh, on the skin. It's very, very comparable to my Hourglass setting powder. Don't quote me on that, but it comes very, very close. I have to like test it out side by side to give you my final opinion. My neighbor is just mowing. Okay. <laughs> you know when all things happen when you just start to film? That's what happens to me all the time. My kid starts screaming. My AC starts moving. <laughs> The neighbor starts mowing. So now let's move on to the bronzer. Guys, I cannot stop using this bronzer. And this is from LYS Beauty. And this bronzer in the, is in the shade Courage Tan. This is beautiful on the skin. If you've not tested LYS Beauty out, definitely do. They have some amazing products. And I'm waiting for the Sephora sale 
to happen so that I can buy their translucent powder. I am very, very picky about my powders, but after testing their powder products out, even the cream products, they have some great products in their line. So talking about the brands that I need to test out, the other thing that comes, like jumps off my mind is to try Dominique Cosmetics. I mean, I was waiting for her to release a eyeshadow palette. I mean, the first one just creams my name. But at the time, I didn't buy it just because I have the shades that is already available in the palette. So I was like, do you need it? I don't need it, you know. And then I was not into her lemonade palette just because of the shades were not like calling out to me. Um, and then when I was like really, really interested, she came out with a transitioning palette and I was like, oh no, I really wanted to test out your shimmers out. So yeah, that didn't happen, but I am very, very interested to test out her formula of the eyeshadow palettes. Maybe something in future will come up that would like really excite me. Now for blushes, you guys know how much of a blush fanatic I am. So I actually have to recommend three companies to you guys for trying blushes. All of them are beautiful. So this I'm not going to test out just because I've raved on and on about this blush on my channel a lot of times. This is Tower 28's blush. In the high-end category, if you want to get a cream blush, look no further. This is the best blush that I have tested out and man oh man, I have tested a lot of cream blushes. Yeah, but this is definitely my favorite. This is in the shade Magic Hour. It's a beautiful nudey pink shade. I absolutely love this. The second brand that I have to tell you guys about is M Cosmetics. It took me a while to test out M Cosmetics, but I am in love with the whole brand, I must say. This is in the shade Venetian Rose and it's such a beautiful blush. I might try this on one cheek because why not? Mm, just to show it to you guys. But I have a review testing out everything Venetian Rose in their line. So if you haven't checked that already, definitely do check that video out. I'll link it in the iCards above for you guys. Third brand that I have to recommend to you guys is Luna Beauty. And this is Manny MUA's brand. And this Moon Prism Blush Palette is all that you need in your life. I mean, this has some stunning quality blushes. And the variety that he's put out is amazing. I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this palette. I can help you out in a few categories. I would say in this blush palette, the majority of the shades that you're seeing are mattes and there's only one shimmer. So if you are into matte blushes, I would definitely recommend this. But if you guys like glowy blushes, look no further. Just get one M Cosmetics blush and then you will not be disappointed and then you might thank me later or you might say, Smithy, just because of you, I'm spending more money. <laughs> so yeah, take your own bet. But this is really good for like glowy blushes. I absolutely love it. Let's do a combo of peachy pinky shades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these two shades from Luna Beauty Palette. And this is Twilight and this is Stargaze. So I'm just going to mix both of these together and just run it on my cheeks just to give more of a peachy pink shade. You definitely don't need a lot. You still can see like a lot of pigment coming through. So that's where we'll stop for now with Luna Beauty. And let me show you guys the M Cosmetics blush. I'll just layer this on top of it just so that you can know like how it performs. From the time I've reviewed that, I cannot stop. Can you see that glow immediately that shows up? I love this. I am a person who really likes like matte blushes on my skin, but this definitely didn't emphasize any texture of my skin and it gave a subtle glow too. If I'm going for a glowy blush, you bet I'm going to apply this. Now let's move on to the highlighter and the brand that I have to recommend to you guys is Ofra Cosmetics. You cannot go wrong with their highlighters at all. And today I'm going to apply Rodeo Drive and yeah, this is a split pan. 
so I have blush on one side as well as highlighter. Although their blushes are also amazing, stunning quality, but my favorite are their highlighters, especially Rodeo Drive. I seriously want to try their Milk and Cookies highlighter too that they recently released, but I need to calm down. <laughs> so, look at that. I mean, yeah, this is light handed application. So if you will go with a heavy hand application, you'll be seen from the outer space. So yeah, just be careful. <laughs> A little on the cupid's bow and then we'll go in the inner corners if we need some later on now finally let's move on to the eyes and the brand that i am going to test out for you guys for the first time on camera is sydney grace and this is tiny marvels palette from mel thompson i i am dying to test this out on camera We'll see what kind of look we come out with, but I'm super, super excited to try. I'm going to start off with the shade Tree Hopper and I'm holding the brush at the end of the barrel just because I want like a seamless application and I don't want like a whole lot of pigment happening on my eyes like all of a sudden. But basically I do go with like a windshield wiper motion or circular motion just to blend the shade in the crease. That's pretty much like my skin tone. You might not see a whole lot of shade happening just because it's it's just a, a slight like one shade darker than my skin tone nothing much now i want to see how this looks okay let's dip into death moth and this is more of a dirty green brown i would say but i'm just gonna apply that on my outer corner just to deepen it up first i tap in the product just to place the product in place and then I go with like a small circular motion just to blend the product. Let's do a little bit of Bugaboo which is more of a purpley toned shadow but I'm gonna just mix in a few shadows and see how it looks. Oh I like that. This gives a little different dimension to the eye. Just for the crease shade, I'm going to dip into the shade called Love Bug from the palette, mixed in with Flutter By, just for a peachy purpley tone. I'm going to take the shade called Scarab from the palette. And this is more of the duochrome, I think. Yep. Don't mind the residue on my brush. But my other side was clean. <laughs> Somewhat clean. I'm going to apply that. Wow, look at that. I don't, I really don't think that I need to go with my fingers because it's packing a really good pigment on my eyes <laughs> there is a little bit of fallout with the shimmers and that's because i'm like swiping it and then for my inner third i'm gonna dip into the shade called fire butts from the palette and it's that metallic green i generally don't go for these green but that's calling my name oh my god look at that pigment Wow, that's stunning. Wow, that's just stunning. Can you see that? And I'm going with a dry brush, mind you. I'm going to apply that same thing on my inner corners too, just because I want it. Wow, I have no words. I just don't have any words. Cool. Now, what I'm going to do, okay, what I'm going to do is rub it all over my pants. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so I'm going to take Love Bug and Flutter By mixed together and I'm going to rub that, rub that? 
swipe that, put that on my lower lash line, <laughs> going into bugaboo again, and then going over in the outer corners, just to smoke it a tiny little bit. Now I'm just going to tight line my waterline with some, with any black eyeliner, I would say. I'm going to take my trusty Essence eyeliner. Just because I do not have a indie brand eyeliner with me. But if you guys know a indie brand that sells great eyeliners, definitely do leave it down in the comment section so that I can test it out. I'm just going to finish off my eyes with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. So after my eyes is done, let's move on to the lips. I have to, again, shout out a few brands. First one, Juvia's Place. Amazing, amazing lipsticks. And I think we're going to try this out for sure. The other one is M Cosmetics. Love, love their infinite lip clouds as well as lip cushions. Cannot go wrong with that. But I'm not looking for a glossy finish today or would I? I don't know. We'll see. And the third one to recommend is Tower 28 Glosses. Great pigment, great glossy finish, great glosses to test out. Their blushes and their glosses, amazing. Definitely need to test that out. But let's start off with a matte lipstick and see if we need a gloss or not. So this Juvia's Place lipstick is in the shade 2020. I know. Yeah, I think I can use a gloss too. For my gloss, I'm going to take my Tower 28 lip gloss in the shade Cashew. I love, I love the way that gloss performs. It gives so much glossiness and it has no stick at all. I absolutely love it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed all the indie brands that I showed it to you guys. If you guys have your favorite indie brand that you could not find in my collection, definitely do leave it down in the comment section below so that I can try it out for myself. But yes, if you guys are new to this channel and if you guys liked this video, Please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel before leaving and also ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9am Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!